in South Africa, ITDP has been working to launch new programs and initiatives that are fundamentally transforming public transport and are improving the lives of millions of South Africans. Johannesburg is South Africa's largest city and the fourth largest city in Africa. With over 7 million people in its metropolitan area, this world-class city was in need of a world-class mass transit solution. Introducing the groundbreaking Raya Vaya. ITDP served as the lead advisor to the city in developing Rayavaya, which the citizens of Johannesburg are celebrating as a reliable, fast, and affordable alternative to the existing system. It's very secure at my side, that's why I'm just staying like this. That's good for me and my, my families, I think. It's good for them. It is very easy to get on and off the bus. It is very comfortable. It's always on time. And I'm about to alight. <laughs> and it's quick. More than a bus, other bus or taxis. Previously, the city mainly relied on minibus taxis, with 72% of commuters traveling this way. <laughs> Having to contend with traffic, and competition to pick up passengers, minibus taxi rides are often unreliable, aggressive, and unsafe. Vehicles rarely get the upkeep they need. And spew tons of CO2 into the air. The taxis won't leave until they are full which often means long wait times and dangerous conditions. And over time, the industry has become known for its tendency to violence, turf wars, and other infighting. Now, with the advent of the new Raya Via bus rapid transit system in Johannesburg, ITDP and the government are working to provide a transition for those employed in the industry. It is envisioned that taxi operators will make up the bulk of the planned bus operating company that will own and manage Raya Via. This project is not only uh, about buses as a mode or about stations, it really is about enabling the transition of the biggest black-owned industry in the city, in the country, in terms of public transport, self-made, self-grown, and for this industry to move in tandem with the project in terms of embracing change. We do see the BRT as having a number of different objectives. The first objective is obviously to provide quality public transport, secondly to contribute to public transport transformation, as I said a catalyst project that will raise the standard of all public transport, but also at the level of the operators, to be able to transform marginalised poor taxi operators to become key mainstream public transport operators. There are about 100 taxi associations in Johannesburg and there are about 20,000 taxis in Johannesburg. So you might understand that uh, I mean, with, with 20,000 taxis and 20,000 drivers, the transformation of this nature goes along with a lot of challenges. You know, ITDB really assisted us to understand the challenges that comes with the transformation of this magnitude. So we're, we're sort of, you know, geared up, you know, to say these are the challenges that will come with the transformation and we are ready to take them right on. The passion of ITDP around people-centered transport planning fits in very well with our own vision as the ANC-led government in the city of Johannesburg for the work we do to be truly people-centered. Drivers who are switching from the minibus taxis to the Raya Via buses are already witnessing the benefits. I was driving a taxi, I was a taxi driver before, before I come to Raya Via. 
all the time I've been driving a taxi, since 1983 I've been driving a taxi. As a taxi driver, I was waking up at 3 o'clock, coming back at half past 9 o'clock in the evening. But now I feel better now in the Ravaya company. It's a short hours because I managed to work eight hours per day. Added benefits of Ray Avaya include buses with efficient engines running on low sulfur fuel that emit less nitrous oxide and particulate matter, one of the primary causes of air pollution. Beautiful, iconic stations designed by local artists are easily identifiable throughout the city. And when Ray Avaya is complete, it will extend for approximately 300 kilometers throughout all of Johannesburg, linking townships to upper-class suburbs. This system has the potential to truly transform a city that is still today separated by distance, color, and class. In Cape Town, South Africa's second largest city, ITDP is also helping develop a BRT system, which is currently under construction and will make up the core of the new integrated rapid transit system. IRT in Cape Town is about improving public transport. It's a very important project for the city. It's got major public benefit. Cities become dysfunctional because they don't have the necessary infrastructure or the services such as a good public transport system. So by introducing this, we would hope to significantly improve the quality of life of our residents. Without the international experience and the professional input from people who have worked in many places via ITDP, I think it would not have been possible to put together something that we think will work. In 2002, ITDP began the Access Africa program to promote accessibility to education, employment, and healthcare. Since then, over 10,000 new high-quality bicycles have been distributed. In Cape Town, ITDP has partnered with local groups to build bike retail businesses and train residents in bicycle mechanic skills. I will show my friends and my family that I uh, was learning from Cape Town for this uh, bicycle. Transport is one of the main barriers the poor face when trying to access health care. Often, distances to facilities are long and transportation systems are inadequate or unaffordable. ITDP has distributed thousands of bicycles free of charge to numerous healthcare organizations and studied the impact the bikes have had on healthcare provision. At the Worcester Hospice in South Africa, which provides nursing care to the terminally ill, workers on bicycles were able to cover three times the distances they did on foot reaching 15 more patients each day. For nine years I'm working with six patients. Before I have this bicycle, I was walking six kilometers to the forest patient. Now with the bicycle I can visit more patients a day. There's more time for my family. There's more time for me to go make food and I relax and go sleep a little bit or whatever, make time for my kids. And when there's an emergency, weekends, whenever, they all know, they call me. Then I'm there. As Africa's cities grow and thrive, ITDP will continue working with city governments and local groups to promote environmentally sustainable and socially equitable transportation. To learn more about how you can be part of ITDP, go to itdp.org. ITDP is grateful to the following partners for supporting its projects in South Africa.